This is a pretty stunning example of just how little snow we've had this season. We've got a, you know, a patch here and a few patches up in the trees, but in a normal year, we're at about 6,000 feet in the Sierra, mid-February. We should, first of all, we should be on, on skis and not walking, and there should be three to four feet of snow at this location. We're basically looking at virtually a dry watershed at this point. We depend upon the snowpack to act as a gigantic reservoir that in ordinary years accumulates during the fall and winter and then gradually melts off in the spring and summer and replenishes the water that we've taken out of the constructed reservoirs. The dilemma that we're facing this year is with such a sparse snowpack and lack of precipitation throughout the season already, our reservoir storage is already about three quarters of what it should be. Normally we would be underwater here and the top of the lake would be above the top of that uh, point behind us. The lake is very important for not only providing water for the local communities around, um, but it also provides a habitat for the fisheries downstream and helps balance the salinity in the San Joaquin Delta. The concept of an atmospheric river is where you have a, uh, an Arctic or a cold air mass that entrains or brings moisture up from the tropics. And if you look on a satellite or you know, a, a radar depiction, it's as though there was a, a massive river directed at the west coast. And it can bring phenomenal amounts of precipitation in a very short period of time. November and December of 2012, we had a couple large atmospheric river events and had us on a strong start to the water year. With the new year of 2013, that stopped and we proceeded to have the driest calendar year in 120 years. Climate is extremely variable. So we have prolonged drought, you know, over a decade or several decades and in some cases over a century. And then we, there's alternating with periods where it's much wetter and we have big floods. Because we, have, we see a recurring pattern of droughts over the last few thousand years, we can predict that they probably will recur again, and we may even have entered one. The lack of snowpack as we move through the season is going to create real problems come the summer and the hot weather when we're coming into this year with a soil moisture deficit. And as we don't accumulate, don't replace that, then this coming summer, it could be pretty, pretty grim.